The gearing adjustment is the same on this and the three speed. This is the Brompton BWR wide ratio hub as used on the six speed Brompton. It is made by Sturmy Archer. The gear adjustment is done using the gear indicator chain which is attached to the cable anchor. This is a Sturmy Archer hub not attached to a wheel. Here is the gear indicator chain. It's removed by unscrewing and reinstalled by gently screwing it back in place. The gears are changed using the gear indicator chain, which when it pulls, changes the gear inside the hub. Now we're going to show you how to adjust your hub gears on your Brompton. The gear indicator chain screws into the hub He just goes in finger tight. Currently he's in first gear, so I'm going to change it to second and gently pull the cable through. Then I'm going to change up to third and do the same thing. The threaded end screws into the cable anchor. Now I can make the cable anchor and the gear indicator chain meet. Now they've met and done up a little bit, we're going to change him to second. When the gear trigger is pushed, the cable is either tightened or slackened, which then changes the gear on your hub gearing. To set up the gears, we're going to put it in second gear, so the middle gear. Now we're going to adjust the tension on the gear indicator chain to make sure it's correct. We're going to look through the hole in the nut to make sure we have enough of the rod exposed. This is the chain tensioner pulled fully out. When it's in second gear, we want to see approximately one millimetre of the rod showing out of the axle. About like that. It was adjusted using the cable anchor. Tightening like this pulls the rod out. Remembering you want one millimeter of the rod visible through the chain indicator nut. Just a little bit more. I think that's probably perfect. Once we're happy with the adjustment, we're going to lock it in place using this lock nut. In a stand, you can even see and hear when it changes gear. Especially in third when it freewheels. One common problem we find is people not doing the lock nut up, so that then that comes undone and then the gear indicator chain becomes loose from the cable anchor, which means it drops into the highest gear and sometimes then the gear indicator chain can work loose and fall out. Now you know how to adjust your hub gears, go out and ride. If we've missed anything, please add it to the comments below. And if you've got any suggestions for further videos, please comment as well. If you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. The gear indicator chain screws into the hub gear. Here we go again. The gear adjustment is done using the gear indicator chain, which is... The the gear, in, the gear adjustment is done using the gear indicator chain which is attached to the cable anchor. Oh no, I'm going to have to adjust it again. Yep.